it is nighttime guys however there's a reason that we're starting this video so late tonight <laughs> today so let's roll that awesome intro stay tuned Today is Sunday, December 26th, and in our Jesus Calling devotional book, it reads, I am the gift that continually, continuously gives bounteless, without no, with no strings attached. Unconditional love is such a, radi a radical con concept, a radical concept that even my most devoted followers fail to grasp it fully. Absolutely nothing in heaven or on earth can cause you, cause me to stop loving you. You may feel more loved when you are performing according to your expectations, but my love for you is perfect. Therefore, it is not subject to variation. What does vary is your awareness of my loving presence. When you are dis satisfied with your behavior you tend to feel unworthy of my love you may unconsciously punish yourself by withdrawing from me and attributing the distance between us to my displeasure instead of returning to me and receiving my love you attempt to earn my approval by trying harder all the while i am aching to hold you in my everlasting arms to enfold you in my love when you are feeling unworthy or unloved come to me then ask for receptive receptivity to my unfailing love start out by thanking him thank him no matter what the situation is no matter what you're feeling Thank him. You're happy? Thank him. You're sad? Thank him. Thankfulness means so much more than, God, I just don't know what I'm doing. Just, you know what? Lord, I don't know what I'm doing, but thank you. Thank you for the struggle. Thank you for allowing us to trust you. I just, ah. Uh, Anyways, <laughs> that's not that's not what it's not what today's little vlog is about. Um, what the vlog is really about uh, today is well, you know, we just celebrated Christmas. Now, if you're a kid and you believe in Santa Claus, I'm gonna go ahead and have you guys leave now and come back tomorrow and see us in another video. See me in another video because the boys are gone. They're spending Christmas and New Year's now with their mom, and they're gonna have a blast. And I know that God has them. God's got them protected. He, they are in His hands, right where they belong, in God's hands. So, um, thank you guys for stopping by. Now, for those of you who are a little bit older, maybe, maybe you're young, maybe you are a kid, and you already know the top secret about Santa. All right, I had to cut what I had and redo it, so we're redoing it now. The real reason that we don't do Santa Claus in this house, quite like everybody else does, is because Santa's not real. I am Santa. I, I'm the one that brings, puts the gifts in there, brings gifts out, puts them in the stockings, and so forth, so forth. Us parents, we do that. And... You know, I did it because I thought, oh, it would bring joy to the kids. They can look forward to something for Christmas. They can have this fake figure to believe in. But what happens when they find out that he's not real? And they're completely devastated. And then they start wondering, well, is the Tooth Fairy real? Is the Easter Bunny real? Is there a really... Oh, gosh, what what's another one, guys? Help me out here. Drop it down in the comment. <clears throat> Are these really real? Does a tooth fairy really stick a dollar or something under my bed, under my pillow when my tooth comes out? 
Oh, it was my parents that did it? Oh, man. The disappointment that they are set up for is not what I want my kids to do. But there's an even bigger problem with them believing in Santa Claus and not knowing the truth about Santa, that I am Santa. And that is that they may question, is Jesus real? Is God real? And that right there, I cannot have them. I, I can't. They, Jesus and God, they are very, very real. God sent his only son, Jesus, to earth. So that we could relate to God. He sent his only son so that we could have a relationship with him. He is very real. Very, very real. And he continues to prove it through me. I am a light for him. May his will be done through me. And so that, right there, that that one fact is the biggest reason as to why I don't want my boys to believe that Santa is real. Now, it is, I have explained to them it is totally okay that if other other kids still believe in Santa, they can say, you know what, yeah, I, I've seen Santa. But don't tell them that Santa's daddy. Just let them believe what they want to believe. And, you know, it's... It's out of respect for the other parents out there that want to do that. And, you know, God has really just put this on me to not allow Santa to go any further without the boys knowing the true truth. With the truth. The true, true, truth. <laughs> because I would much rather that my children believe in God and Jesus and that they, they know he is real. And that they can see him in his in their lives and work through us. Rather than ask them to believe in something that is made up. Something that is going to eventually set them up for very um, disappointing experience later in life. And, and you know, also... Most kids ask Santa for a lot of expensive stuff. I know when I was a kid, I sure did. And I would rather that my parents and that my boys would be more thankful that I was able to get them something. And then that Santa, aka me, brings something smaller for them. That's how I, that's how I see it. And you know, since for a few years now, I've had that thought of, I'm, Santa is not getting the big gifts. He's getting the small little fun thing like candy or a, a Hot Wheel, something small. I'm going to get him the big thing and they're going to know that that's for me. Well, now they know that it's all for me. They know that God and Jesus are real. They're very much alive and they're working every day in our lives. So that, that, there we go. That's it. That's it. So my boys know to respect other people believing in Santa and not to expose him to them. Now they might. They might. They might be like, oh yeah, Santa's my dad. <laughs> and then they'll be like, wait, what? <laughs> and they, you know what? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But I would rather my kids believe in Jesus. And I don't want them to ever question if he is real or not and if they do i i pray and i hope that they come to me or come to somebody because jesus met me in a place where i did not expect him to meet me and y'all know that story if you don't you can go back and check it out i i'm pretty sure i've talked about it many many times jesus has always been in my life he's been there he's taken me places that i can't even uh, to this day, I wish I could make a movie about why I couldn't call the cops on a very, very terrible night of my life. It turned into the greatest blessing of my life, and I didn't even know it. And it's all because of him. It's because of Jesus. It's because of God. He did that.
Now I'm going to cut back into where the rest of this video is really good. So let's jump back into it. And it's amazing. And it's all thanks to the Lord. It really it is. It is. He is the reason for the season. Now, that got me all teary eyed. So we gotta come inside. I just, it doesn't, it doesn't really help that I just dropped my boys off too. And nights like these I'm, uh, are, are the hardest nights. They really are. They're the hardest nights to come home. Because I come home. I just gotta show you guys. I come home. And I want you guys to listen. It's it's so quiet. You can hear the dryer back in the laundry room. But I want to show you guys this amazing mess. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, they did they did help me out a little bit. They cleaned up the living room just a little bit. I was like, look, I don't want to make you guys clean the entire house. But if you guys could please just put some stuff up in here. Look, this is what we did. They put some stuff up. They put a pile of trash right there for me. It's just... This, this is where I... This is where you have to be. If you, if you are struggling because your kids are not with you on Christmas on these holidays, you don't get to see them at all. These little messes right here, they're, they're paying the butt. They're paying the butt. They're gonna, it's gonna suck to clean it. You're not gonna enjoy it, but you know what? If you just stop and, and think about this differently, you say, you know what? <laughs> I know my kids had a great Christmas because look at this, <laughs> look at this. They even wrecked a wrong box. <laughs> They had a oh candy war, <laughs> and and you get filled with joy and you smile and laugh in their bedroom. <laughs> it's a complete disaster, but it's bringing joy to me. And you too, you can find that. You can do that. It it just takes a second to pause. And say, you know what, I, I know that this is a mess, but thank you, Lord. Thank you for this mess. Because now I get to clean it, I get to pick it up. And I know that when they come home, they're going to be like, Whoa, Dad, the house is clean. <laughs> and then it's going to be a wreck again. <laughs> so, anyways, I want to show you guys a few things. The boys, they, they outdid themselves this year. Um, typically, typically I, I buy myself one thing, um, this year the boys wanted to buy me some things and well, without further ado, I introduce the new cars on the channel. So we have a Flash Stingray Corvette, a Harlan Quinn Corvette. Brian's Eclipse, Letty's Barracuda, and Dom's Charger. But not only that, they got me some stylus for phone and touch screens. They got me three of those because they wanted to get three of them so that they could also have one. I, I, I absolutely love it that they, they have that mindset of, I want to give somebody else, but hey, you know what? I don't think Dad's gonna mind if we get a couple extra so we can have some. I also got a light set. This is what I bought for myself. It was a light set, and I bought them one. And then, I mean, there's just stuff everywhere. Some of this came from other Christmases. This is gonna be a fun puzzle. I can't wait to do that. Here are the other things that I was able to get them some books. They got these awesome clothes from Papa and Grandma. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord, your God, is with you. Joshua 1 9. Be strong. Those are amazing. And right now, Riley is wearing his to his mom's. And I'm, I'm super excited. I hope that maybe she sees that and 
And maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll just put a little spark to bring a little more Jesus into her life. So, anyways guys, this video has run super long, I know. Um, however, one last thing. Oh, never mind, never mind. You don't, you, never mind, never mind. What was that? Click that red subscribe button. Wait a second. Click that thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up. Destroy that thumbs up. Let's go ahead and also destroy that subscribe button because, oh my gosh, you guys have blessed us with the most amazing Christmas gift ever. Like, it's still going up. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, you cannot see that at all. You can't see that at all. You see my dirty dishes? Yep, yep, we get some dirty dishes. 600. <laughs> And 97 subscribers. Thank you. I'm, I'm speechless. We appreciate you all. I, thank you for telling your friends, your family. Thanks for clicking that button. It's absolutely free. It takes half a second, maybe, maybe, maybe. You can also click that bell to make it take a little bit longer. And then you'll be notified when we have uploads. Because we will have more uploads. Also, check out some of the shorts we're putting out. Right now, they are previous TikToks. Soon, they will be completely fresh and new content coming in as a YouTube short. Alongside with some daily vlogs, maybe? Anyways, guys. I'm going to have some dinner now. And, uh... Well, you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Drop us a comment. Let me know if you can relate to struggling on the holidays or any day when your kids are gone, if you're a parent. And if not, let me know what was your favorite part about Christmas. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. We love and appreciate each and every one of you. God bless. Stay tuned. Hold on. We got to show you the other Corvette. Shh. Okay. So here's the boat. So we got a boat. Here's my other Corvette. It's an RC Corvette. I can drive it. And... Uh-oh. The other Corvette's missing. But we have this cool monster truck. Oh yeah, let's get it. Aha, here it is. Audi's Corvette.